Greetings, greetings, family and friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about seven ways to minimize drama in your life. Now remember, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. And leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. Definition of drama is an exciting, emotional, or unexpected series of events or set of circumstances. And in our life, us as individuals will witness some form of drama in our lifespan. And it's important for us to understand or be able to deal with drama when it presents itself to us. And I have arranged seven suggestions to help you minimize drama in your life. And number one, reconsider your unhealthy relationships. Reconsider relationships with partners, business people, friends, co-workers, etc. When you see that there's no positivity or no motivation, trust your gut instinct when you are in these relationships. And if your gut is telling you that this is not a healthy relationship, it may be time for you to cut ties and to end these relationships. Number two, stop making assumptions. Stop assuming things when you hear things. Don't assume, get your facts together. Understand what's going on first before you make an assumption that could be wrong. Get your facts together. Get all of the details together before you make an assumption about drama or about a situation. Number three, deal with drama. Don't just talk about it. It's important for us to deal with drama as soon as possible instead of talking about it and spreading it around. Deal with the individual or the people who have started this drama with you and end it as soon as possible. This will minimize or do away with the drama altogether. Number four, change your energy. Change your energy when dealing with drama or dealing with situations. Keep yourself in a positive demeanor. This way, you will know that you're not the one spreading drama or causing drama by being positive. Be positive, that way you can recognize negativity when it comes around. So change your, your energy, be positive. Number five, give others the benefit of the doubt. Give others the benefit of the doubt when you find yourself in situations where drama is creating. What someone may be going through may not have anything to do with you. So if you find yourself in a situation where it may seem like this person is, is coming at you, give them the benefit of the doubt. They may be having a bad day. Realize to yourself if you haven't done anything to cause this drama between you and this person, then this may not be in, intended on you. Realize what it is, learn how to, to let it go or to avoid it when you see it happening. Number six, avoid gossip. Avoid gossiping and spreading someone else's business, personal business. This will minimize gossip and minimize drama in your life because you don't want to become someone's gossip one day as well. The saying, what comes around goes around, is true. So don't be a part of gossip and stay out of drama. Avoid it if possible in your life number seven don't take things personal all the time don't take situations or circumstances personal all the time because this may be a way that a person is they may be a negative person and you might have came in contact with this negative person but if you know that you are not a, ne a negative person don't take it personal Dodge this person. 
go around this person. This person, this is the way they are. Don't take it as this is, you should get involved with this and try to handle it yourself. No, let this person be who they are and you continue to be who you are and avoid it. Don't take it personal. I'm going to do a recap. Number one, reconsider your unhealthy relationships. Number two, stop making assumptions. Number three, deal with drama. Don't just talk about it. Number four, change your energy. Number five, give others the benefit of the doubt. Number six, avoid gossip. Number seven, don't take things personal all the time. It's important for us to recognize drama or to recognize situations that could lead to drama in our life. And it's important for us to rec recognize if we are the one creating drama and to understand that we are to carry ourselves in a positive way. That way we know that we are not the ones that's creating drama in our lives. Learn how to minimize drama in any way possible. Apply these seven suggestions to your life to minimize or do away with drama all together in your life. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. And leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. I'm Manifesta. This is my vision. May God bless you.